At this time, we'd like to bring to the lectern our supervisor, Michael Antonovich. Well, thank you very much. Um, what was it about 16 months ago we were here for the groundbreaking? Was it, how long did it take? About two years. About two, two, two years ago. Seems like a couple months ago. Time goes by so fast. But uh, we had a great... Uh, groundbreaking ceremony here and there is a, a vision and today we have the ability to see that vision turn into reality. I've had the uh, pleasure of working with a couple of wonderful, wonderful visionaries and ladies who have been very, very, very good role models for everyone in our county and our, and our state. One was a lady by the name of Sybil Brand. Uh, who gave her life. She died about 103 years of age a couple years ago. But she had a vision in helping the youth. And to the end, she was involved in helping our young people. And some of you may have had the opportunity of meeting Sybil or being involved with her. And Evie Markowitz has another individual who had a, a vision of helping young people and has dedicated her life and her resources that have that vision carried out into a reality of in building young people, building them with the foundation necessary to be successful citizens, but having a role model that they could look up to as to here is a person who was able to sacrifice, who had persistence, and was able to have that dream turned into reality. And we all know that art has been there, toward the right and the left hand, and his patience and his vision and tenacity, and not only are they a peer involved, but when we have Board of Supervisors meeting down below, <laughs> many times they are there, sitting in front, even when they don't testify, but they are there, as they were about two or three weeks ago, sitting in the third row in the center. They didn't testify, but they were listening to the dialogue that was going on relative to a state funding issue that is impacting our county and every county in the state of California. So that's the type of a role model that the young people who come here Many of them have had some serious problems, but we all know that we all have problems, but when you have good role models and a good program, you can overcome those problems and become the successful citizens that we need. This is the only uh, facility of its kind in the Antelope Valley. As was stated, it's gonna serve over 1,000 victims of child abuse and neglect, and it will house our young people who are in the stage of being emancipated and going out into the world on their own. They're going to provide that low-cost children's services to help those mothers and those fathers be able to go out and get a job and by providing job, skill, job skills, provide the opportunity to learn and then to go out and be employable. I say that they're going to uh, serve over 100 clients each day. This 30-foot square facility includes the residential treatment facility, adoption services, outpatient mental health services, and the housing for emancipated youth. Uh, this coming month, which is next week, is going to be in the county adoption month in which we are engaging our faith-based communities to be engaged and the others to ensure that we can reach out and be the mentors and adoptive parents for those children that are in need. We currently have about 20,000 that are in uh, dependency at the, in the county of Los Angeles at this time, which is down from about 40 plus thousand of about uh, 10 years ago. So the movement was going in the right direction. Uh, our office was able to provide uh, $600,000 for this facility, of which $400,000 is to be used for the construction, and $200,000 will be used for the operation of, of Penny Lane. And we appreciate this type of a public-private partnership. And by encouraging more public-private partnerships, we're able to provide more opportunities for those who need the opportunity to reach up, I should say reach out, we can reach out to, and be able to go out and become the successful, productive citizens that our county so desperately needs, and as our, well as our state and our nation. So on behalf of the county, let me give this to you, and Art, why don't you come up too? Because I said you're the left and you're the right arm in this operation. <laughs> he didn't have, you know, gray hair until he got involved. Right? <laughs> I didn't have gray hair until I had two little kids. <laughs> okay, let me go in front of this, then we won't. Here, you go to Get in front, and then we won't be blocked by the microphone. Okay. okay. 